Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I want to do a tag video. This tag was created by another creator. Her name is Jeronica Maicia. And five bags that if you were to start over your collection, you would repurchase. So, um, there is an ongoing theme with my bags. I didn't even realize it until I pulled them all out that almost all of them are, are, are black. They're all black bags, so anyway. So the first bag that I would repurchase in a heartbeat if I were to lose my collection, if I decided to start over my collection, would be my um, Chanel denim flap. And this is in the large size. I love this bag. I did, um, I did a review on it, but I'm going to do an updated review because I don't think I touched on everything that I think um, you guys would want to know about this bag, but it is a... Uh, it's close to, a, I would say, a jumbo size, but if you were to fit everything in here, it probably fits as much stuff as a maxi. And it's a single flap, and I just have this um, jumbo insert for it that um, when I take it out, it's just empty. It's just one empty bag. It has a back pocket. Uh, it has a zipper pocket in the bag, and... When you close it, it's just, it folds in itself. But if I were to start over my collection, this is a bag that I would definitely repurchase because it's just one of those bags that you could, as a mom, I'm a mom, I could fit everything in here I need for the day between me and my son. I could fit, I could even fit like a change of clothes in here. And the only con about it that I don't like is that it doesn't have a back pocket, but since it's so big, it doesn't bother me to just open it and throw, if it's my phone or a ticket or whatever, to just throw it in there. But this is definitely a bag that I think would be in my collection um, forever. My second bag is probably my favorite bag, that Dior Double Saddle Bag. I love, 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 love this bag. Um, I have a review up on it in my channel if you guys want to go in depth. But it has a back pocket. It's pretty roomy. Um, the opening is Velcro. It is a vintage bag and the inside is just one empty one's like big compartment and then it has a side zipper but this is my all-time favorite bag like just look at the details like the strap on the side has the two cds on both sides this did not come with a strap but typically when i wear it i always wear it with like um the guitar the thick guitar strap i have a thick guitar strap that i got from fashion file that's what I typically wear this with and I just love this bag you can wear this bag any season throughout the year and it will just it will still look amazing bomb top top three and it's not number three or number two is um not really a bag but it's something that when I was bringing out all my bags and kind of like thinking what bags would I keep I wasn't even considering it and then I kept going back to it because it's just one of those bags that you could dress up, you could dress down, you could turn it into a pouch. Um, it could be a camera bag depending on how much stuff you bring. It's just super versatile. And that is my Pochette Accessoire from Louis Vuitton. This is my second one. I repurchased it because the first one I have is beat up. It's gone sis. I've had it for like, I've had it for maybe over 10 years. And yeah, it's cracking. It's dirty. I just use that to put my makeup brushes. So sometimes if I'm traveling, I'll just put all my stuff and just like throw this in there. And then when I get to wherever I'm going, I can use it as like a crossbody bag. And I got this strap from, I think Etsy and the Vachetta kind of just like matches really well. But I would keep this bag because if you like, if you have a Vachetta accessoire, you know this how, how versatile this bag is. If you add this strap, it's a strap that goes across, you can wear this bag as a shoulder bag. Um, I would never wear it as a clutch because I'm just not a clutch girl, but hey, if you wanted to wear it as a clutch, you could. If you wanted to travel with this bag, it's it's a good travel bag. And since it's canvas, it's really hard wearing and you can just take it anywhere with you. But this, when I start wearing this, it's hard for me to switch out. I have to like consciously tell myself like, girl, you got to come out of that bag. But yeah, this is definitely a bag that I would repurchase over and over and over. I don't know if I would repurchase it with the current prices, but definitely if I was thinking about going to like um, the pre-loved market, this is a forever piece for me. For my last two bags, I couldn't decide, 
because I always have to think, okay, as a mom, what bag would I definitely want to still have in my collection? And if I if I want to like run around with my son or if I have stuff to do, I still want to be able to like fit a bunch of stuff. And I couldn't decide between um, my regular totes. I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide between my large Marc Jacobs the tote bag, um, my Louis Vuitton No Way, and my recent purchase, which is I didn't even bring it, which is my Louis Vuitton puzzle bag in the satin calf skin and it's black on black. I'm gonna do a review on that pretty soon. I just haven't had a chance because like life has been crazy lately. But I decided. It will probably be a tie. I will probably repurchase the Loewe puzzle bag as an everyday bag. And then if I were to, you know, everyday in life with my son, it would be her. It will be my No Way GM. This bag can fit everything I need. So I work from home. So I think this is why I couldn't really decide between this and the puzzle bag because if I were to like start going back in the office for whatever reason, I would want a bag like this. That way I could fit my lunch, I could fit my laptop, I could fit my iPad. It just fits a lot. Right now it's just full of all my dust bags because I haven't really been um, leaving the house where I would need a large bag like this. But I carry it if I'm taking my son to swim classes. I will put his towel in here, a change of clothes, his Crocs, and it fits everything. Um, so yeah this would be the fifth bag that i repurchased and between this one and the large mark jacobs top tote bag i chose this because i feel like this is just so chic to me it's just it hits different okay the no way hits different and um i thought this would just be like an amazing addition um so that was four um the next bag would be um a bag that i just recently purchased not recently i would say maybe like last year but this baby i am so in love with her so this is the chanel mini rectangle um in the in a patent leather and she she is my favorite i i am not um i am not a classic flap type of girl i would like to think that i'm not but i mean if my husband wanted to buy me one i'm pretty sure like i would wear it to the ground um there's certain colors that i see and i'm just like i really wish i had that but um this actually kind of like just scratches the itch of me having um a classic flap because this she's gorgeous guys just like look at it um i've worn her to death it's one of those bags that i take from day to night for me and I just love it. I love it. Like, if I could just have one Chanel bag between this and actually have a wallet on chain, but um, this is the five bags that I would have purchased, so it could stay where it is. But this would definitely make the cut. Um, and it would fill the gap of me needing a, a mini bag because most of my bags are medium bags or large bags. And the other Chanel is a large. So if I needed a mini bag to just like have to stuff everything and it actually fits a lot i think a lot of people think these are small because they don't know how to play tetris but if you know how to put your stuff in a bag it packs a punch but yeah and then in the back i just kind of have a card in there since this is patent i, I don't want it to stick together because patent does that sometimes they get sticky and then it ruins the bag but yeah i love this bag i love 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 this bag girl who kind of likes bags like vintage bags so this definitely i yeah i would repurchase this i would repurchase it in this size or i would repurchase it in a mini size and i would still go the vintage route i don't think i would repurchase this um no i don't i'm i don't want to say i don't like the newer ones but the vintage one to me it's a classic um the late princess diana is one of her favorite bags and she was the OG it girl, okay? So if you know, you know. This baby, she's a classic. I would definitely purchase this. I would think in the same size because um, I'm able to use it more. I could use it in the day. And I don't think it's that big if you wanted to just, you know, carry it night. But I wouldn't take this in the bar because then that's just pushing it. Like, it's just pushing it. I wouldn't take this to a bar or, or the club. It's too big for that. So 
if I were just like going to dinner and you know going right back home then yeah definitely you know it's cute and the size is just right for that and those were the five bags that I would repurchase if I were to start over my collection I have a couple of new additions in my in my um, collection but I just haven't had time to sit down and film so I'll probably start doing that um, in the next months or so but yeah um i so yeah guys this was it for today i'm gonna come back with the collection haul because i've i've been stressed stress triggers shopping and i've been shopping so in the next couple of weeks or so i'm gonna sit down and film some videos of what stuff i've added in my collection i have a Loewe puzzle i have a Loewe mini puzzle and um one of the i just i've been shopping guys so just tune in i'm gonna come back with a collective haul and a review of um some of the bags that i added so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.